Some 10 million people die from cancer globally every year. The disease places an enormous burden on countries and communities. Cancer control aims to lessen this burden. It includes cancer prevention, early detection and diagnosis, treatment and palliative care. Many cancers can be prevented by reducing the risk factors or through vaccination and screening. Others can be diagnosed early, treated and cured. Even with more advanced cancers, pain can be eased, the progression of the cancer slowed and patients and their families help to cope. How does cancer control work? Cancer control programmes bring together people and organisations to coordinate actions, policies and services. They agree on the most effective solutions for the wider population while taking into account the specific needs of subgroups that may face disproportionate rates of cancer and mortality. A cancer control programme is successful when it ensures that everyone in the community is motivated to live a healthy lifestyle is given the best possible chance to prevent cancer and has access to treatment and care. This is not yet a reality everywhere. The number of cancer cases and deaths are increasing the fastest in low and middle income countries due to ageing populations, a shift to urban lifestyles and a growing exposure to risk factors such as tobacco and alcohol consumption. Healthcare systems are often under-resourced and governments have not been able to make cancer control a priority. In high-income countries, there are important differences in people's ability to access cancer services and the level of care is not the same for everyone. This leads to a higher number of cancer cases and deaths in some populations. Effective cancer control plans are needed everywhere to stop the growing cancer burden and to help more people survive this disease regardless of race, age, gender, location, social or economic status.